It's this kind of morning. Chilly enough that I gotta turn on my heater. <laughs> I love it. Morning, cruisy. <laughs> it'll warm up in here soon, buddy. Hey, it'll warm up in here soon. <laughs> it's so cute in the morning, bro. I love you, buddy. Boy. You love me? Come here, buddy. It's another amazing day out here today. Hey, Cruzy. It's another good day, isn't it? Hi. Hi. Good morning, pal. Hi, everyone. <laughs> We're still on the northern side of Vancouver Island, but I've had the chance to really seriously think about this summer trip of mine. What are we doing? Where are we going? Uh, after all this thinking, guys, I still don't know, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna bounce down this island pretty quick. I have some friends I need to visit. Then I think we're gonna head off somewhere. Where are we going? I don't know yet. You'll have to stick around and find out, because I don't know. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, shit. Somebody else is up early this morning, I see. I love it that life is finally back to a temperature where I can start wearing my flannels. If you're new to my channel, I wear a lot of flannel shirts. I have like seven different flannels and I got a new one. It's called the 2-4. That's what we in Canada call a 24 pack of beer. It's the 2-4. So I'm gonna bust that one out when the weather gets cooler because it's black and red and kind of has a bit more of a country cottage winter feel. Um, <laughs> I feel good that we're back to flannel season. Silly things in life, man, make me excited. Wearing a flannel shirt just happens to be one of them. I drove a lot today, a lot more than I was expecting to drive. We full sent it from one side of the island just about down to the other. And if you've ever Googled Vancouver Island, you'll see how big this island is. Sometimes when you think island, you think small. This one is monstrous. It's bigger than some countries. <laughs> Anyway, I got excited to come down to Victoria, BC and visit my buddy Daniel because he's the last check mark to, to finish off over here and we are out on our trip where we're going yet. I thought this drive today would have figured that out. Nope, I still don't know where I'm going. I do know we're catching the ferry over tomorrow from Mill Bay over to Brentwood Bay. So you can drive all the way around to Victoria or you can take a short 25 minute ferry across. I think it's 25 bucks or 22 bucks or something. And I figured, hey, sun's coming up, little ocean, little little boat ride. Let's do that versus driving all the way around. It's probably cheaper on, on fuel too, because this thing is a bit of a fuel beast. Gonna see Daniel and then we out. We're going to go to the mainland, see my daughter, go for breakfast with her, and hopefully at that point, I will know where I'm going. If I still don't know where I'm going after having breakfast with her, I am going to start my van and we're going to end up wherever we end up. Whether we drive all the way to northern BC or we drive straight through and go to Ontario or Quebec or I don't know. <laughs> I don't know yet. There's a van gathering in Quebec called El Campo. I was there a few years ago and I keep thinking about it. I keep thinking, well, let's go to El Campo. I emailed them yesterday to see if it's possible to get a ticket. Still waiting for the reply because right now they, ha they all their online sales, they have no more tickets left online. 
So I'm hoping that they've left extras available for people that just pop in or email through or something. Not saying I'm going to drive to Quebec, but it's on the table. That's how far I'm ready to send it after being, I feel like I've been kind of trapped out here doing van build stuff and stuff like that when I should have been out traveling and creating some fun content. So at this point, I'm ready to just full send it across the country just about. <laughs> but anyway, um, I had the chance this evening when I pulled here into Couch and Bay, or did I say that yet? We're in Couch and Bay, BC and what a sunset tonight. Ooh, so good. Uh, there's a couple of other campers and some trailers parked up in front of me and uh, just some really good, good, cool people around around here. I met some awesome subscribers tonight. Um, but I had the chance this evening to go into my YouTube comments and I don't get a chance to do that quite often. But tonight I had a little bit of time. So I went through some of the comments on the videos recently of getting my winch installed and uh, my air locker, all those kind of things. But I noticed over those videos, there were so many questions about the ambulance. And this is something that I don't really have an answer for you yet. A lot were like, why are you putting money into this van when I have the ambulance? Or why did I buy the ambulance? What the heck's going on that they're confused? I'm confused. <laughs> I don't know how else to put this. I'm confused because I'm really starting to dig the ambulance. Every time I edit a video and I see me in the ambulance, in that video, like driving, I just see the outside of it and I could just picture that as my next home. And I don't, I, I don't want to move out of this van. I don't. I love this van. I've spent years creating the ultimate home out of this thing. It's perfect for me. It's got everything I want. It's got a fan on either side of my bed. It's got speakers on either side of the van. It's got a, my DJ stuff and a, and a desk and and just a beautiful conversion. And, and, and it's awesome looking on the outside and it gets attention and people dig it. And it's fun in the backcountry. It's narrow enough and short enough in height that it gets down even some of the narrowest and, and overgrown trails. It's amazing. Sure, I can't stand up in it. I can barely sit up straight. Barely. Like, you can. But I normally slouch a little bit anyway. But you can, if you shoved it, you could probably... Like, that's straight. You know, there is some downfalls. But it's not a deal breaker. I enjoy my low roof fan because it fits down trails that that ambulance would have a struggle getting down. Like yesterday, you guys seen some stuff, man. I was just sh full shoving it down these narrow trails. Don't get me wrong, I had to turn my van around at some point, but I definitely got way farther than a bigger rig like the ambulance would go. So I'm not ready to move out of my van. That is not at all the plan. I'm not selling this thing. It is not for sale. And I don't even, if even if someone made me an offer, I, I no, the answer is no. I don't care how big the offer is, the answer is no. I love my home. I intentionally bought the ambulance as a project. When I seen it, I'm like, oh, this is a really cool looking rig. This would make a fun build series video on my channel. My original thought was, over the years, people have continually asked me questions about how did I insulate my van what insulation did i use um what roof vent do i have and how do you install it what this what that what this they had all these questions that i could sit down in front of a camera like i am now and just make a chit chat video or i could use the ambulance as answering all those questions again on my channel rethinking the insulation process because I would do a different thing now than what I did in my van because there's new products out there now that weren't really around when I did my van or if they were, I never heard about them at the time. So I've had the chance to do a bit more research on things. So I thought maybe the ambulance might be a way to kind of redo all this stuff and make a great series of videos. And then when it's done, like I wouldn't go like crazy, crazy on it, but when it's done, it's got walls, insulation, it's got a van build in it, fresh coat of paint, new tires, so it looks beautiful and it drives nice and it's got the beautiful build. And we made a good series of videos. I thought for sure I would put it up for sale and maybe one of you guys could, could buy the ambulance. I would make some profit on it, some good content, 
answer some questions in video format instead of just me yip yapping like this. You can actually see it unfold. And then we'd move on. What excites me is to see the ambulance when I edit videos, because to see me driving that thing, pulling it out of the shop just makes me excited. So what's happening now is I'm moving ahead with a part of that build. Then we're going to put a giant pause on that project, a huge pause. It's at J5 now. He is fixing the four broken windows, raising the roof up in it. It's going to cut it out, raise the roof up probably about three, four inches or whatever it's going to take to fully stand up in it with, with um, um, insulation, ceiling and floor. Raised roof fixing the broken windows on the top because we're putting cabinets over them. So he's got to fix the cracks and stuff in them. I'm putting three windows in it, two pop-out windows on each of the side doors. So you could have a draft over, over the bed, a long window along this side, insulation, floors, walls, ceiling, and roof vent. Then I'm going to pause that project for a while, allow money to build up again and just revisit it maybe on the next winter, you know, slowly put money into this thing, slowly invest the time that's needed to make that the ultimate off grid overland adventure rig that anybody would dream to have with all the goodies, all the toys, pulling out all the stops, literally creating the ultimate rig. Come on, it's big enough. It's got a four wheel drive. It's got a 7.3 liter diesel in it. So it's got tons of power. It's got all the things you would need out of the ultimate adventure rig or home. If I go slow on this project and we do it, you know, work on it a few months, put it away for six months, work on it a few months, put it away for six months. Maybe by that time, I will be ready to make the decision do I sell my van and move into that one? Because as of right now, there is no freaking way I would ever move out of this rig. Zero chance. And I don't want to build that thing too fast and then be faced with that decision. Because at the end of that, I have to let it go. What if I fall in love with the ambulance? I can't keep two vehicles. I live in a van. I don't have a home or a shop. I don't have a place to keep two rigs. Even though it would be pretty freaking cool to keep two rigs, I just don't have the space for it. So I don't really have an answer for those questions. Right now I'm a little bit confused on it. So I think we're gonna move ahead a little bit and put a giant pause on it for a bit. Because those things have to get done anyway. They need to get done. So while it's at J5, I'm gonna let them go ahead with that project. I pull it away from there, get it out of everybody's hair, or I throw it in an indoor dry storage somewhere so it's not exposed to the outside elements. Keep it inside in a little heated shop. Um, I have a subscriber of mine that says he has a spot that they use for 85 bucks a month, which is pretty great. Um, I may take up that offer just to get the ambulance out of everybody's hair, out of the shop at J5, and not think about it for a little while. And then come back and revisit this as money builds up. And then, then you never know. You never know. Maybe a few years down the line, that turns out to be my home. But because I'm in a really confused state right now on what I want to do with the Ambo, we're going to do this small stage first and pause it for a little bit. Sorry, I don't have a really big answer for you guys, but uh, it was only supposed to be a project. I don't know what I'm doing with that thing, man. It's sad. <laughs> sad that i have two of these epic rigs right here in my hand this one that i love that's my absolute home and then another one another one that's just have you seen these two rigs side by side my ambo and this van that is like the ultimate team that's like the weirdo army tank one and tank two crazy cool if i had a shop i'd keep them both i really would i honestly would Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't, don't, don't say it. I could hear it in my mind. <laughs> right away when I said that, you, my, my mind's like, get a shop, bro. Get a shop. <laughs> <sighs> Maybe. Shop? Keep the toys? Hmm? 
a little a little van city van life headquarters aka the shop huh we all know my mind's been thinking what's next what's coming what's maybe a shop man like a little place where i could like work on my rig keep the ambo keep whatever you know Maybe a rig for some of you guys. Maybe a spot for some of you guys to pop by and work on your vans for like a month at a time. Everybody needs a place to do DIY work, right? Woo! Now the mind's thinking. See, this is what happens with me. Normally, these thoughts happen when my camera's not rolling. So this is just stuff coming out of my brain. Don't take this stuff literally because honestly, guys, I don't know what I'm doing. Stuff like that's a good idea. Hmm. Hmm. Is Crumb getting a shop? <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to let you go. I I don't want to think about that either. Right now, my only decision is is uh, is where I'm going on this summer trip. You guys will have to tune in the next few days to find out, but hopefully that kind of semi-answered your confusion when it comes to the ambulance. So don't feel bad. Don't feel bad that you're confused about it. Because <laughs> so am I. See you guys soon.